You know, I would venture to say most of us don't know what we were destined to do until probably a little later in life. But for one Greensboro resident, he has been following his dream since elementary school. You know, Raman is an artist and you've probably seen some of his work all over the triad. I caught up with him today to talk about his life's work and how it really feeds his soul as an artist. Take a look. So Raman, everybody kind of has a story about when they first realized that they have a talent. How far back does that go for you? Uh, when I was about six to seven years old, that is when I realized that you know, I was good at drawing or you know, better than anyone else in the, <laughs> in the school. <laughs> and you know, I, I was really fascinated by the superhero comic images oh, yeah. and you know, I picked up one and I started perfecting it. I drew it like 50 times until it was good and, after, and ever since that I never stopped. I was so much in love with drawing. And your parents must have known this is what he's going to do. Yes, yes, they were very supportive. And by the time I was in seventh grade, my father suggested I should join art school, become a professional artist. <laughs> Did um, so, and you've worked on all kinds of art, right? Do you have one that style that's that's you know that you like better than others? I enjoy working in different styles, like from photorealism to cartoons or abstract. I, I enjoy everything. It keeps me entertained. But yes, I do have a style that is my own. It's kind of a flat colors and illustrative style. Uh, that is something I would like to see more on the walls. For me, I think public art has more emotional appeal. It connects to the people directly compared to the gallery art. I enjoy doing both, but gallery art is more like an intellectual stuff and very few people go there to see it. And But this is you know, out there for the public and anyone can just drive and stop by and enjoy it. So for me, when I look at something on a grand scale like this, I don't know how you keep perspective. How do you do that as an artist when it's such a big painting? Yeah, there's a lot of planning that goes behind a mural just because of the scale. So you have to make a finished artwork in the exact proportion of the wall in a smaller size and then you scale it up on the wall through a grid method. So you can either follow a traditional grid method of squares or there's a lazy grid, like, like a doodle style grid. So you use uh, either of those methods to, to scale the drawing and keep the proportion. So you're looking at little squares and doing them section at a time, right? Yes, that, exactly. Yeah. That's amazing, that's amazing. Well, I can't do what you do and we're glad you're here. Your work is incredible, man. Keep, keep Thank you, I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, you can look for this story on WFMINews2.com. Um, he goes by Artist Raman, that's R-A-M-A-N, okay. and ArtistRaman.com is his website. Incredible work. In fact, we were just talking about this. This is the Joker that he did on the back of Red Cinema. That's the first time, you can't get, really get the scale by looking at that, but that's like a, as tall as the building. First time he'd ever done spray paint art. That's amazing. It's just fascinating, like we were talking about during the package while it was rolling, to be able to visualize something like that and then draw it on such a huge scale mm -hmm. how do you you know how do you make sure it's perfect like that I, I, he rather said, than if you were to see everything on a smaller sheet of paper he said little bits of it we have to do it with one square at a time so i'll look at that square and then i'll paint it on oh, a bigger. the patience can you imagine i know mm -hmm. well the planning and then the patience to do it but i mean this is just so incredible he's so talented and i've noticed all these murals around town wondering like how they do that so i'm glad that you answered the question so in my two cents i talk about this because i was shocked i didn't i didn't know this was behind red cinema mm. so on the back of the building which is like the back no Nobody goes there very well. There's like murals that line the entire building with triad, wow. different triad artists all along. That's and he's really one cool. of them that has two there. Just the attention to detail, like yeah. um, Toto there with the hairs the and hair. everything. And then with the Joker over there, you can see the, the depth the and different colorings with the wrinkles yeah. and the hair. Uh, it's, it's really cool. Truly a gift. If you want to see more of this, stick around for my two cents. We'll talk about what's behind Red Cinema, <laughs> hidden treasures around the triad.